Aaron Wallace tweeting in again. He's got the whole uni squad in Stone watching and supporting Irving Mango. An exciting fight he's got coming up with Alex Phillips next. Before that, we've got Charlie Schofield. The Lakers get walked to the ring by seven cameramen. be a good one a rematch of sorts if you can call it that these two have already fought in Schofield's second professional contest he won that one and now they're back facing each other again is Bobby Rimmer wearing uh, camouflage I can't see him <laughs> I like Jack Massey Charles Goldfield that side no, no, Jack Master just said hello then. <laughs> just pop down to it, Charlie Schofield, all the best. I like Charlie Schofield as well. He's a nice boxer. I think we've commentated on every fight that Charlie's had, actually, as a pro. Seeing the improvements he's made right from day one. Yeah. Started boxing, sitting on his jab a little bit more, picking the right, picking the backhand. Yeah, in his last fight, he's showing something different as well, Charlie, throwing that right uppercut in and spinning off, he looked good. seems to believe in himself that little bit more every time he gets in the ring, Schofield. It's good to see. This would be a good fight for him as well. He'll be able to see the improvements he's made. Five fights on from when they first met. Is it Goard as well, Al? Uh, Schofield uh, yeah, started his own... No, is, it, what, is it his own gym no, or is it like his fitness sponsor. classes? It's his sponsor. All oh, right, OK. Um, and he does the boot camps, I think, at Bobby Bimmer's gym. Goard Nutrition is his sponsor. I thought I've seen on um, his videos and that, yeah. that he puts on. Um, when I had a quick look at them, I think it's his sponsor and he, he does like a boot camp with him All right, uh, in okay. the morning before he trains himself. Manchester City fan as well, seeing the tattoo again on his arm. Big game tomorrow, they've got Spurs. Good win today for Liverpool, just get that in. Who? Good left up there by. Schofield, I think Elvis do felt that. Yeah, I think he's got to do his respect already. I'd love to know why his mum and dad called him Elvis. <laughs> he couldn't look anything, he probably looked, he couldn't look anything more unlike an Elvis, could he? I know you don't know what he's going to look like, like when he's in his late 30s like he is now. Nice work there. Walking then the jab there from Schofield. Yeah, he sticks to the basics well done in Schofield behind the jab. Nothing too flashy, just gets the job done and looks well doing it. That's a Bobby Rimmer gym, isn't it? He does, he teaches the kids, he gets them doing the yeah. basics well. That's what he does, Bobby gets you gets working behind the jab. Nice right hand to the body there from Schofield. He's looking very sharp in there. He seems to be sharp every time I see him, improving all the time. Seems to be enjoying himself a little bit more as well every time yeah. he gets in the ring now, Schofield. Yeah, he's a dedicated lad as well. I, I think he lives the right life and, and does the right things in the gym. 
Goes gloves up well there. Second fight on tonight's show. Irving Mango in the ring next. Followed by Joe Murray and then top of the bill we've got Jack Massey. Good opening round there for Schofield. The fire looked good. Out caught, caught do with some good shots. Yeah, be pleased with that first round. All right, guys, we're just going to go and check on Joe Murray. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live is the hashtag on Twitter. Let us know what you're thinking about Charlie's performance so far. What do you think about Reese Mould in the last one? Any questions for Alex? Tweet them in. It's a four rounder. Joe Murray later will be over six. As will Jack Massey in the main event of the I'm night. Look, I'm looking forward to seeing Joe Murray tonight. It's spiteful in the ring, isn't it, Joe Murray? So he's talking a good, good fight. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. Yeah, it'd be good to see him before he goes out to oh, Finland. He's fighting Rashid Kazim in late notice. Very good prospect from over there. So that'll be good for him. He's going there to win. He's not going there to make up the numbers. Straight away, Schofield's come out, sticking behind that good jab of his, sticking it in Elvis' face. Like you were saying before, he does all the basics very, very well. Yeah, that's what the teacher about him, Jim. The basics well, everything behind a good tight guy and a good jab. Yeah, and in boxing you can't you can't beat that really. Yeah. We're seeing the right uppercut again. Like you were saying from his last fight. Yeah, I've seen him working it on um, his Instagram as well. Yeah. He's working on that shot and he's done it in the fight. Yeah, it's landed a couple of times in these opening two rounds. He judges the distance very well. Got up and cut and left of that. See a little dip in his leg there by Elvis. He's a very tough man though. Yeah, you know what you're going to get with Elvis. He's yeah. going to come forward, throw punches at you. Rarely get stopped. He's a tough man. Good, good defence on him. He's been here with some good opponents. Jose Burton, Liam Conroy, Tommy Tatham, Sam Hyde, amongst others. So he's mixing with good opposition. That's a lovely right hook to the head. Yeah, he right in the temple, wasn't it? And again, Charles go through straight behind his jab. Straight back to the basics, good. 51 defeats, he's only been stopped four times, so. And at the higher weights, that's some going in it, light exactly. heavyweight and cruiserweight. And he's been in with everyone. Yeah, it just shows you how tough he is. Filling up nicely in here, big crowd. Like Simon was saying, it's packed, busier than it's ever been before. The support for Jack Mass is growing. Yeah, he's just recently signed a deal with Fox Nation, hasn't he, and Fat Warren? Yeah, so he'll be on their channel in the coming year. That'll be great for him. Yeah, get him out there, get him known. To yeah, he's a very good fighter, he can go a long way. You can see he's dedicated. I saw an interview with him, uh, talking with Bobby Rimmer, and he, he, got, he just passed his driving test, but before that he'd get the bus in for an hour to the gym and then back every single day so he could get his training done. Nice uppercut again. He's looking good in there tonight, Schofield. Bit of blood coming down Elvis's face there. Hashtag VIP Boxing good Live. Shot. Let us know what you think of this fight so far. Bit of blood from the nose, I think it is. Schofield round. Yeah, Schofield round, easy. Box behind a good tight guard. And the same again as the first round. We threw a lot more shots in that round. and Looked like he sat on his shots a little bit more and he, and he hurt Elvis a couple of times, I reckon. Yeah, he's definitely getting more powerful as the fights go on. It's his seventh fight tonight. Yeah, he's looking he's good. He's adapting to the pro game well, and he's had, he's setting on his shots. He's looking like a, like a little bit more spiteful every fight. Four rounds. This we've had two going into the third round now. Elvis has got an experienced corner team there, only with the Shinfields. 
They've got every type of box from journeyman to prospects, haven't they? Yeah. He knows what he needs to do in there tonight. There's a big height difference as well. Yeah, he uses his height well, Charlie, doesn't he? Yeah. Very long arm to throw that jab out. There's a big light heavyweight as well. It used to be a cruiserweight and it's come yeah. down to light heavyweight. Seems to suit him more as well. He's looked good since he moved down. Saying that he looked good up there as well, so. Nice uppercut again. The uppercut's really working. Both men are fighting in bursts. When he sat on his punches then, Schofield, I think he hurt Elvis and he come back with a barrage of shots. Yeah, he's starting to engage a little bit more now. He's turning to a bit more of a brawl. He's worked the body well so far though. A little ticking off for Charlie Schofield from the referee. Nice work again. Doobie's coming back like we knew he would. Great work to the body. Elvis is just creeping back into the fight in this round. He's landed some good shots of his own. Nice work again, doubling up the jab. And again, very sharp jab, as we were saying before. Good shots from Schofield. The right hand starting to land now. Oh, big left up from Schofield. Very tough man, this Elvis dude. He's took some shots in there. You just keep coming forward. Yeah, there's a shake of his head. And he keeps marching forward, making for a good fight. Been an entertaining one this, we've had everything. Just like the last one, Charlie Schofield showing that he can work off the jab but when he needs to he can engage and win the exchanges. Yeah, he boxes very disciplined, doesn't he? Good fight there by Schofield, and again. The uppercuts have got a lot of spite in them. You can see he's really putting everything into these uppercuts, trying to get a stoppage. Last few seconds of the round, the third round of four, the second contest of the night. Good round from Schofield again. Coming up, Irving Magno over four rounds against Alex Phillips. Then we've got the genius Joe Murray. I love seeing his ring walk. Yeah, he's mental, isn't <laughs> he? He comes out like a man possessed. Yeah. Uh, he's against Danny Little over six rounds. Then the main event, Jack Massey, Rolanda Cessna for the International Challenge Cruiserweight title. That should be coming your way at about 10 o'clock. Stephen Foster tweeting in, Charlie Schofield boxing really well tonight, great to see. He's a regular in on VIP Boxing Live, Stephen Foster, every time I look at who's tweet tweeted in, he's on it every single time. He is. Mr Parsington stuck in work so he can't make it, but he's watching the stream on his phone. Good luck to Charlie Schofield, he's doing the job in there so far, one round left. He's just got to stick with what he's doing and he'll win the fight easier. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live, send us your thoughts. I've seen big improvements though in this fight for Charles Schofield. Yeah, absolutely. Looking really sharp. He's looking to step up in levels now, I think. Yeah, he's ready for them six round. Finish yep. up his last four rounder maybe and then he's ready for that step up to the six round and eight round level. I think that the uh, longer distance will suit him as well. Elvis has come out here to try and put it on him a little bit. 
be good to see how Charlie reacts with a bit of pressure. He's looking good, Schofield. It'll be very difficult to beat when he steps up, working behind that jab. Lovely uppercut again. He seems to have brought his own camera crew with him, Charlie Schofield. HBO 24-7. Now the Magno backstage, just warming up, he's on the pads, looking sharp. He's just been called uh, Manny Pacquiao, actually, I don't know. No, the ringer. Manchester's version of Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, Steve Wood said that in an interview. He's Buxton's Manny Pacquiao. Good body Good shot body by shot. Schofield. Lovely body nice shot. shot. Reading a few positive tweets about Schofield, people praising the performance. Yeah, he's looked well, like I said before, it's the best I've seen him. He looks spiteful and he worked well behind his jab, sticking to the base as well. Nice work again behind the jab. The uppercuts really impressed me tonight, it's landing a lot. Blood ticking off from the referee, holding. Just needs to get back on his jab like that. Works perfectly. Just like that. He's got quite a few light heavyweights in uh, in his own stable, and he's Steve Wood in the cruiser weights. And you're saying, you know, 12 months down the line, I can see two or three of them getting matched up together. Well, not three, obviously, because that would be an odd number, but it might <laughs> a rumble. Couple of them. In the gym this week, I always talk about it. Glenn Williams and Mike Gormley, that poster was up there, and obviously, it's been yourself, you were touted to face uh, Callum Diaf. Yeah, yeah, I was. I think it needs to happen for these promoters, eh? even like Zavedi here now, they need to be matching kids in their own stable. Steve's got, you know, probably got, he's got over 50% of the Northwest pros on his card, so he's going to have to look at matching them up, isn't he? It's a great fight. Schofield, I think he shot out every round, working behind his jab and using that uppercut well. Very impressive performance once again. Like we were saying before, he needs to be looking at stepping up to the sixth rounders now. Going over that a little bit further distance. Six minutes is a long time. You might see Charlie out before Christmas, probably in the sixth rounder, maybe, might you? Yeah. He's looking in great shape as well. Bobby Rimmer looks happy with the performance as well. He didn't really put a foot wrong there. Charlie Schofield, he boxed very well. Hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Great performance from Schofield. Performance from Schofield. Hopefully he treats Bobby Rimmer to a new pair of trackies from Sports Direct after that. 